Savannah High and Beach met Saturday with a 1 p.m. kickoff in a game that had been postponed due to gang violence. It was a big game for a number of reasons as the traditional rivals met for the 47th time with playoff implications and bragging rights on the line as Beach was celebrating homecoming on the 150th anniversary of the school. But Savannah High spoiled the party for the Bulldogs behind a solid defensive effort and another big-time performance from quarterback Desmond Brinson as the Blue Jackets prevailed 21-15 in a Region 33A game at Memorial Stadium. I thought our offense, defense and special teams all played well, said Savannah High's first-year coach David Robertson. This is one of the best games I have been a part of. We had two great schools with so much tradition against each other, and there was so much pageantry. We have a lot of respect for Beach. And Desmond Brinson just did what he always does. He's such a great athlete. He's so athletic. He just makes things happen. Beach student Jahe Morris, 16 was killed by gun violence on September 17. He was remembered at halftime with a moment of silence. There were no problems at the game, as Beach had a sizable crowd celebrating homecoming as Savannah brought a solid cheering section of its own. Brinson, who has committed to Cornell, gave the Blue Jacket fans something to cheer about in the first quarter. Facing a THIRDAND 12 at his own two-yard line, Brinson stayed in the pocket and found Malik Nesbitt in the center of the field for a gain of 33 yards. On the next play from scrimmage, Brinson somehow evaded a heavy rush and found daylight down the left sideline for 24 yards. He did it again on the next play, this time moving up in the pocket and breaking upfield for a 46-yard touchdown run that put the Blue Jackets up 142 after Zazier Threed's extra point. The line did a great job blocking, and the receivers ran the defensive backs out of those plays, said Brinson, who rushed for 82 yards and two scores on 11, carries including negative 29 yards on sacks, and was 7 for 8 passing for 83 yards. I was just trying to break some tackles and make some plays. Beach battled back in the third quarter, when Threat couldn't get off a punt under a heavy rush, setting up the Bulldogs at the Savannah 9-yard line. Four plays later, quarterback Rational Cooper took it in from one yard out, but the two-point conversion failed and Savannah led 148 with 259 left in the third quarter. Savannah added some insurance in the fourth quarter with a 57-yard touchdown drive. Brinson finished it off once again, this time with a 15-yard scramble as he carried the final defender into the end zone to put Savannah up 218 with 535 left. Beach came back with a touchdown drive of 75 yards. On 4-THAND-19 from the Savannah 20-yard line, Cooper found Therese Martin open in the end zone for a touchdown, as the Bulldogs cut the lead to 21-15 with a minute left. But Savannah Zion snowed and recovered the onside kick, and the Blue Jackets ran out the clock for the win. Savannah 41, 20 in Region 33A scored first on its first possession on an eight-play, 55-yard drive. Brinson Hitchy even chambers on two passes for 29 yards and Michael Love finished things off with a nine-yard scoring run. Beach 22, 11 got on the board with 127 left in the first quarter when Ben Bruton sacked Brinson in the end zone for a safety. It was the first of three sacks on the day for Bruton, the standout senior who has eight sacks on the year. I don't think we were ready mentally for this game, Bruton said. We had some dropped balls, our offense wasn't playing well, and we had a lot of penalties. Savannah just wanted it more than us today. Savannah's defense was strong all day, allowing the one touchdown on a short field and the final score in the last minute of the game. Junior middle linebacker Fred Nunn, a transfer from Benedictine, had three sacks and Tricy and Palmer added a pair of sacks. Our nose tackle, Brian Hayward, was doing a good job up front and I was blitzing off of him, that made my job a lot easier," Nunn said. I was a little bit nervous playing in this rivalry for the first time. It was a new experience, and it was a great game. Beach leads the overall series 25-22 after the Savannah victory. Beach coach Ulysses Hawthorne's record against Savannah High is now 163. I thought both teams played well, they just played a little better than we did," Hawthorne said. We didn't do a good job executing on a fence. We left some points on the field. SHS 1,400,721 BHS 206,715 First Quarter SHS 
Michael Love 9 runs Ozier 3 kick BHS, safety, Ben Bruton sacked quarterback in end zone SHS, Desmond Brinson 46 run 3 kick third quarter BHS, Rational Cooper 1 run run failed fourth quarter SHS, Brinson 15 run 3 kick BHS, Therese Martin 20 pass from Cooper Joshua Woods kick.